Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, two young boys were playing when they stumbled across a UFO and interacted with extraterrestrial life. This prompted an investigation, the results of which provide no firm explanation for what the two youngsters witnessed on that day in 1975. This is the tale of the Kofu incident and how the mystery remains unexplained 40 years later. Masato Kawano and Kutsurio Yamahada, two youngsters from Kofu, Japan, were playing outside their homes on February the 23rd, 1975. That evening, just before dusk, the boys saw an enormous orange light in the sky that seemed to glitter. A little while later, one of the lights began to descend and get closer to the boys. The craft moved closer and closer, and the children became more and more afraid. While the other light soon approached Mount Odigo, Katsurio fled, but Masato was paralysed with horror when a massive black object started protruding from the UFO's base. The boys could now tell that the object now resembled some sort of craft, with a shining metal exterior that seemed to gleam even in the evening sky. When Katsurio tried to reach out to his friend, Masato seemed to be in a kind of trance and was not responding at all when his friend begged him to run away. The dark mass from the ship began to take shape of a bridge a silhouette was observed, emerging and heading directly towards Masado. Fearful that his companion would soon be abducted, or even worse, devoured by an extraterrestrial being, Katsurio cowered behind a tree and observed the approaching figure. However, the creature, which was now directly in front of Masato, just reached out and began rubbing his shoulder, as if to soothe him. Hi. Masato collapsed to the ground as a result, and Katsurio called out for his companion. Glancing briefly towards Katsurio, the being then returned to the vessel. In an attempt to find out if his friend was okay, Katsurio ran towards him. Masato didn't want to move, although he appeared okay. As the object moved farther away from them, Katsurio continued to observe and noticed characteristics about its size and shape that became more noticeable as he stood up. Rather than running home to tell their parents what had happened, they just sat there and observed the objects. Katsurio could sense that his friend was terrified. Masada described the creature to him, describing his height as approximately four feet and describing his claw-like hands with three enormous fingers. He added that it seemed to communicate with Masato, but it made a sort of clicking noise like a Geiger counter, not like any other known language. Eventually, the two boys returned home to notify their parents. The parents didn't take the boys' wild story seriously, which was not unusual, but since the two wouldn't stop talking and seemed to be growing even more angry as they did, they decided to calm them down and go to the scene of the incident. To the mother's dismay, however, they observed the orange lights spinning across the sky in what appeared to be a repeating formation. This made the parents anxious, and as they looked up at the sky in horror and astonishment, the possibility that their sons were speaking the truth dawned on them. The children and the parents stood there for around 10 minutes, observing the lights flying backwards and forwards, before eventually shooting off with incredible speeds. The parents simply could not explain what they saw, and any scepticism they may have had about the boy's account had vanished by this time. And any scepticism they may have had about the boy's account had vanished. Masato and Katsurio attended school the following day. Upon being asked about what they saw, the boys recalled the story with exacting detail. This drew the attention of the principal, and then requested the boys to sketch their observations. The news spread within the school, catching the interest of another student, Ichirio Mingishi, who claimed to have witnessed the orange lights the previous night. Ichirio recounted seeing the lights during his journey home with his parents, placing the sighting about an hour before Masato and Katsurio. This raised the question of how many others might have seen the lights, but refrained from coming forward to avoid as being seen as crazy. Subsequently, 
Two additional individuals disclosed their sightings of the lights. A school janitor and another teacher approached the principal to affirm the boy's account. While they couldn't validate the extraterrestrial aspect, they indeed witnessed the same orange lights, with a growing number of witnesses. The entire school board took notice, leading to the dispatch of two officers and several teachers to the site for thorough examination. Upon arrival, the team discovered two large concrete pillars knocked over and broken, prompting astonishment that such an event had gone unreported. Despite the potential noise associated with this occurrence, the pillars lay undisturbed, seemingly unnoticed by the outside world. Further scrutiny revealed indentations on the ground matching Masato's description of the ship. A soil sample from the site tested positive for radiation, with this spot being the sole location in the vicinity exhibiting such readings. The incident, initially perceived as a potential prank, escalated into a narrative resembling a science fiction plot. Intensive questioning by teachers, parents and the police failed to alter the consistent story the boys had conveyed since their initial encounter. While the case eventually stalled and closed due to lack of credible evidence, some suggest a possible police cover-up. However, the evidence consisted solely of the story, radioactive soil and damaged pillars, leaving room for alternative explanations. Since then, there have been no documented UFO sightings in the Kofu area. Nevertheless, the account of Masato and Katsurio persists as one of the most compelling UFO stories. What are your thoughts? Do you believe that the boys fabricated the entire story? Or do you perceive their encounter as evidence of UFOs and extraterrestrial life? Please share your opinions in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and if you're interested, sign up to my monthly newsletter. Thank you.